Now, Britain's next generation of scientists got their hands on the wonder material of the future today. School pupils were invited uh, to have a go at making graphene, which is the world's thinnest, strongest material. Yeah, it was discovered in Manchester, as you probably know. It is so strong that a sheet, I love this little fact, mm. a sheet as thin as cling film could support the weight of an elephant. Our environment correspondent Colin Sykes reports. A science taste today at the University of Manchester. It said these pupils will be children of the graphene age. But what is it? So we're going to start from pencil lead and we're going to make the thinnest material in the world, essentially. This is exactly how scientists at the university discovered the material, using sellotape to pick up graphite particles, then separating them to produce a thin sheet of incredibly strong carbon atoms. Each carbon atom here is the black dot, and then they're connected by these bonds and they're arranged oh, in a hexagonal yeah. manner. The excitement about graphene is its commercial potential. If you take something like the mobile phone, by using graphene in its manufacture, you could end up with a phone that was half the thickness of this and bendable as well. It's so thin, it's quite unbelievable. It looks quite thin and quite not, not really strong, strong enough to make things out of that. Experts say graphene could replace silicon as the raw material in computer chips. It's also a better conductor of electricity than copper. Within just a few years, we can expect to see it in aircraft components, mobile phones and super thin TV screens. Any field that you take graphene to, it seems to be doing better than what is already there. The government has pledged £38 million to the university to develop graphene. These children are likely to see it in numerous products of the future. Colin Sykes, BBC Northwest Tonight, Manchester. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Now, uh, 